Hey Leopard Artists, it's Mrs. Shoddy, and I'm coming to you from my house to share with you our next art challenge. This art challenge involves nature art. I'm so excited to share these amazing works of arts created by artists who are still alive and creating today, which is a really cool thing. I hope that they bring you some crazy ideas to inspire your next work of nature art. Our first artist is Nils Udo. Nils Udo is a German artist who celebrates the beauty of nature by working with found materials, such as leaves and branches, to create stunning works of art. He is known for creating utopias that transform the land into mysterious, dreamlike realms, from a delicately arranged petals scattered on the surface of a pond to spectacular nests formed from twigs, leaves, and wildflowers. His works look as though they were created by busy woodland fairies or creatures of the forest. Here are two more sculptures created by Nils Udo. I love the way that he puts so much detail and thought into picking the perfect place you can tell he's worked for a very long time on the one sculpture, making the ground grow just how he wants, giving the grass time to grow around his sculptures as well. Wouldn't he love to visit one of these? This is a piece of art created by Walter Mason. He is also a German artist. He specializes in the creation of experimenting with nature to create his works of art. He has a beautiful perspective of the natural world visible in his photographs. Many pieces involve the arranging and rearranging of natural elements into a unique design. He often uses leaves, stones, ice, and flowers. Our next artist is Bob Versharen. He is a Belgium artist. He creates numerous plant installations and uses elements of nature as a means of expressing himself. I don't know about you guys, but that sure looks like a place I'd like to go play and explore. This German artist, Cornelia Conrads, creates mind-bending installations in public spaces, sculpture parks, and private gardens around the world. Her work frequently displays the illusion of weightlessness where stacked objects like logs and fences and doorways appear to be suspended in midair, reinforcing their temporary nature as if the installation is beginning to dissolve right before your very eyes. Jay Hyo Lee was born in Hapchin, Korea. He produces intricate sculptures that reveal a mastery of his materials. The artist shares a great respect of raw materials but also a will to dominate what nature has provided. The perfection of his works lie in the balance between the beautiful complex forms and the simplicity of those materials. Andy Goldsworthy is a British sculptor, photographer, and environmentalist. Andy makes art out of natural elements such as twigs, stones, leaves, snow, reeds, and even thorns. He sees his practice in art with nature as a collaboration, meaning they work together. And he knows that most of his artwork will disappear with the change of the seasons, so he continually photographs and documents his projects. Andy Goldsworthy has been creating this piece of artwork called The Walking Wall for the Nelson Atkins Art Museum in Kansas City for the past year. They collected the stones for the walking wall from the Flint Hills in Kansas. The first stage of the walking wall, pictured on the left, was started in March of 2019. On the land, east of the Nelson Atkins, the crew worked with very few tools. Wheelbarrows and buckets in their hands were all they had. The wall is dry stacked and built without mortar, meaning the rocks are balanced upon each other. In order to stay up, there's nothing gluing it together but gravity. Stage two, built on the right, was actually built across an entire road. 
With the permission from Kansas City, they closed Rock Hill Road for a short time in May to allow the wall to walk across the street. Stages three and four of the walking wall are pictured here. Stage three was created in the middle of the hot summer sun in July, and workers moved the wall from the middle of the street up to the blocked buildings. For a short time, the wall fully blocked the doors and keeping visitors in and out at those doors. The wall then snuck through a thin passage along the building and moved onto the grassy rooftop for the next stage. At stage four, built in September, the walking wall dared to walk down the steps between the blocked building and the original Nelson Atkins building. But in order to stabilize the rocks walking down the stairs during construction, it actually had to be built backwards from the bottom up. Workers had to carry the stones through the middle of the art museum. The final stage of the walking wall moves across the sculpture park and ultimately into the blocked buildings. Right now you can see as it transitions through the sculpture garden. As of today, we could go and visit the blocked building at the Nelson Atkins Art Museum and see Andy Goldsworthy's walking wall. What a cool, unforgettable experience to have this artist creating this piece of artwork right here, right now in Kansas City. Okay, so now you've seen some crazy cool artwork made by artists who create natural art that is larger than life. Well, let's be honest, mom and dad probably don't want you building a giant wooden sculpture from their yard to the neighbors. But hey, you never know what you're gonna be building. So here we are at your next creative challenge. Creative challenge number two. I am challenging you to get outside, use nature and what you can find around you to help create your own personal artwork. It might be something teeny tiny, medium, probably not too big, and make sure to clean up when you're done. But I cannot wait to see what you've created. Here are some examples to help inspire you with kids' ideas. With all of spring blooming out, now is a great time to get out and create a portrait. Your portrait could be full size, it could be a picture of your mom, it could be a picture of your grandma or someone you miss, it might be a picture of your art teacher. I'm just saying, it could have all kinds of fun expressions and lots of colors. Maybe the things that you're collecting outside in nature are going to help you create an animal or a rainbow, or really cool artistic design like a mandala. Or here you can even see where nature has helped this student to create a little house. I also find that it doesn't have to be plants. It could be things like rocks. I know in my neighborhood I've got plenty of rocks and I love how it looks like a whole picture of a family. I know if you're like me, you're missing that time with family members that you can't see right now. So maybe you're going to create some kind of natural artwork based on what you're missing. Or check out that really cool fish with all those really cool collected things. Maybe you have pieces of nature like seashells you've collected from other trips. What a great way to show off collections that you love from nature. All right. Your creative brain should be flowing with happy juices. Now go on and run outside and make some beautiful nature artwork. I can't wait to see what you create, whether it's big or small. Be sure to snap a picture of that creation and have mom and dad send it to me at kshoddy at bssd.net. I cannot wait to see what you and your family do in your fun family creative time.